Hey everybody, Big AZ here. Thanks for welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the five count. The five count. Um, some people really believe in it. Other people think it's a bunch of hogwash. Uh, today we're going to randomly chuck them and we're going to see about this five count. Now what is the five count, you ask me? Well, basically, the five count prevents you from losing money on a .7 out or a cold shooter. Um, it wants five hits, uh, we'll talk about this, before you even make any wagers. These are for random shooters only, okay? Uh, you don't, we don't start that five count unless they hit a box number, okay? Uh, for today, I'm going to use my black dice because these aren't real casino dice. Well, they're good dice, but they're not actually from a casino. So, But I like these black dice. They show up really well. So we're going to randomly chuck them. We're going to count five rolls after a box number. That's a box number. We get five. All right. Uh, let's mark it with dice. That's one. Can you see that? No, you cannot see that. That's one. <clears throat> Let's go. All right. So the point's five. We're still not baking any bets. It's a random shooter. We don't know. We're doing a five count. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a box number or not now, but for the fifth number, it has to be. Oh, that's a frontline winner. Wow. Okay. Roll three. Doesn't matter. We got a seven. That means we start all over. All right. So we're not making any bets yet. We got a yo. Wow, that would have been three pass line winners so far. We would have had three. Yep, three pass line winners so far. We would have had. Isn't that crazy stuff? It's not a box number. There's a five. Another box number. That's our roll one. We're gonna mark it. All right, five's the point. You will never lose money on a point seven out. You will never lose money on a quick roll. That was roll three. Rolls two, three, four. It does not have to be anything. It could be any number as long as it's not a seven. Okay. Now, this is roll five. The fifth roll, before we bet, has to be a box number. There it is. There's a box number. That's five. So now what they're telling us is that in this strategy, the five count, now it's okay to start making wagers. Now, it's up to you again what kind of strategy you want to give or have or use at this time. But you did not lose money on a cold shooter. That's the whole idea. Now. I think they said all the research I've done is that they say 57%, 57%, more than half of all random shooters will roll a seven out before the five count. So if you can protect your bankroll half the time, losing it quickly, this strategy is for you. Now, does that mean you won't lose it on the next roll or the next roll or the next roll? Yeah, you bet you. You could. It's just preventing from an ice cold shooter. That's what this strategy does. So, we've waited for the five count. Let's test it out. Let's go ahead and do five units. I'll do five units every number. Let's see what happens. Got a six. We got a U. We got a seven out. So, so much for the five count. We lost a lot of money. One thirty-five across on the five count on a random shoot. Now, if you ask me, do I believe in the five count? No. <laughs> no. But some people swear by it. 
Uh, others don't. I wanted to bring it to your attention today. Let me know in the comments what you think about this five count. Let's go. Come out roll. You're not doing anything till we get a five count. We got an eight. That is a box number. That is a point. We're going to keep playing it out. Let's see what happens. That's two rolls. There's the third roll. Big red. We saved our money. Okay, here we go. Come out, roll. Nope, does not count. It's not a box number. We got a six. We got a box number. We're going to start the five count. That's roll one. That's box count one. Thank you. Let's go. Everybody, thanks again for watching my channel. We got a five. That's roll two. <clears throat> Doesn't matter what these rolls are. That's a three. We got a six. Front line winner. Wow, we're missing out. That was roll four. Come on, roll is roll five. If it's a box number, ace deuce does not count. We got aces. Does not count. It's got to be a box number. We got a 10. All right. So, according to the five count, people, we're ready to bet. Let's go. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go five units every number, including the point. We started with $500 today. A random shooter. Let's go. We got a five. We're going to make $35. Uh, what we're going to do is do three hits. We're going to press three hits. How about that? I'll do that every time. We're going to take all the money, and we're going to press. Change three times. We'll see if we can be profitable. We're just going to press three times. Go. Oh, no, another seven. Well, again, it's something that happens to work for you. I'm sure you think it's a great thing. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, I'm sure you think it's a crappy thing. I personally don't believe it. Every... You know, especially a random shooter, every roll is going to be random, but everyone, anyone could get hot, I guess, but you could roll a seven just as well on the sixth roll or the seventh or eighth roll that you could on the first, second, or third roll, in my opinion, on a random shooter. But let's keep it going. The five count. Ace deuce does not count. It's got to be a box number. The first time and fifth, fifth time have to be box numbers. Yo. We got a four. There we go. That's good. I'll tell you what, we'll use a chip this time. That's easier for me. We got a five. That's two. We got a six. That's three. We got a six. Again, that's four. Now the last, the first and the fifth have to be box numbers. We got an eight. All right. Now we can start, according to the five count, and start our betting system. And I forget what the point was. Was it a hard six, I believe? And then we hit the six. I think it was back-to-back -back hard sixes, and then the point would be eight. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go all in this time. I mean, I guess you could do this in a progressive style. Color that up. I'm thinking you could do this in a progressive style. Let's 
color that up for two nickels. We're all in now. Let's see how this system works. We got a four! I'll count the extra chips right here. All right, so I got 35 on it. We're going to buy it in the back end. That's 70. Pay in red. We said we'd press three times. 70. I have 35 on it, so I owe two for the big in the back end in Vegas. So we're going to take the profits. Press. Press in with the profits. We said we'd do that three times. So we'll change. Let's go. We got an eight. We'll take it. This will be the second hit. Oh, it's a front line winner. 48. It's going to pay me 54. I'm going to press. I'll do 55 for a dollar. We're going to press again. This is our second press. Change. Let's go. The five count. Come out, roll. I'm off on the come out. Off. We get a five. Okay, let's go. We got an eight. Okay, we're gonna press one last time. Fifty-five. I got sixty dollars. It's gonna pay me seventy. Seventy. Let's go. Using the profits. Okay, one more hit, and I'm going down to inside ten bucks only each. Let's go! Random shooter, last press, yes! And it's a frontline winner! We have sixty-five dollars. Uh, fifty pays seventy plus twenty-one. That's ninety-one dollars. Ninety-one. Very nice front line winner. Thank you very much. And we're gonna regress down. Table minimum only inside. I'm gonna take down the outsides. I'm going to go two units in. When this video is over, we're going to have a discussion about this strategy. Not a discussion, it's a one-way discussion since it's my video. I'll talk about what I think about this. Remember, we started with $500 today. All right, come out, roll, we're off. Random shooter, betting against a random shooter. Point of six. Uh, I'm gonna go 10 on the five. Sorry about that. All right. We got a five, $14. I'll do 15 for one. Collect.
let's go. We get a nine. That was a nine. Sorry about that. Nine. Fourteen dollars. Fifteen for one. Here we go. Random shooter. We got a sins. We got a hearty. Fourteen dollars. I'll do fifteen for one. Let's go. Random shooter. We got a seven out. All right. Pretty good run that time. We've had two terrible simulations and one very good one. All right. So, the five count. Let's do a chip count. And then I'm going to tell you uh, exactly what I think about this. Well, we got a Christmas tree, Christmas time situation here for sure. I'm not the cleanest chip wrap guy. I just play, let the chips fall where they may. Started with five hundred dollars tonight. Seventy five more. In the comments below, let me know what you think about the five count. When I'm done counting here, I'll tell you exactly what I think. Another hundred. We got 475, 480, 491, 491 dollars with the five count system. Down nine dollars. We're down nine dollars. Down nine dollars. Now, what do I think? I think one. If you want to spend more time at the table, this is for you. If you're the kind of person that likes to hang out for five hours at the craps table, the same table, the same spot, the whole time for five hours, this might be for you. It all depends on your betting style. I was trying to be consistent with the betting style. Obviously, this small sample size means nothing. We all, we all understand that. But I wanted to explain to everybody out there what the five count is. Is it something I'm going to do? No. Is it something I could do at an ice cold table if I'm brand new, if I want to be there for a while? Yeah, it's, it's kind of waiting it out. Now, I know some casinos force you to play right now. Depends where you are. I get it. You might not be able to do that. But the five count lets you hang in there and you don't get burned on a point seven out or a quick seven out. But as I showed, you can roll a seven at any time. A random shooter can roll a seven on the sixth count, the seventh count, very easily and you get burned. Um, I do, I was saying earlier, I do kind of like the progressiveness. I was starting with five units across. I probably, if I was going to do this in a casino, I would do the table minimum, maybe 10 across. If I would lose that, I would probably go to double up the next time. I would go four units across. If I'd lose that, I'd go what I just did, the 10 units across. Uh, if you did it on a progressive kind of 
system like that, or maybe you just bet inside numbers, or you just bet the six and eight after the five count, something like that. Um, maybe a little progressiveness. If you have a bigger bankroll, if you have a two, three thousand dollar bankroll, I could see going, you know, fifty four across. And if you lose that, you know, you, you go into, uh, you know, what one hundred eight across. If you lose that. You go in what? One sixty across? Uh, if you lose that, you go three twenty across. <clears throat> you lose that, you go six forty across. <coughs> Again, a bigger bankroll, you know, big bankrolls cure a lot of problems. We all get that. We all understand. It is what it is. I appreciate everybody watching my videos. Thank you so much. Today was the five count. I wanted to talk about that. So we lost $9 on the five count. That's all. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome out there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate your support. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.